Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today my setup is a bit different and I'm very autumnal as you can see. I'm filming a very autumnal makeup look. Not a tutorial because I'm not a makeup expert. I'm just gonna show you how I do my current everyday fall makeup. I personally love watching people's like fall makeup tutorials because this is my favorite time of the year and I love the makeup and the, all the shades and everything. I thought I would make one. I made one last year as well. My room smells amazing because of that candle right there. It's a pumpkin spice candle from Home Sense. It's amazing. I'm in heaven and I'm very excited to show you my makeup. Currently my makeup look is quite dark and very toned and like very quite deep and dark and brown. Those are the colors and shades I tend to go towards to and I'm loving it. I'm also loving my hair so much right now. I never really braid my bangs but recently I've gotten into that. The last time I wore pigtails was when I was like 12 and I looked like a nerd with my very teeny tiny glasses. These days I like wearing pigtails. <laughs> I'm gonna take my glasses off. I've already moisturized my skin and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer because otherwise my eyebrows will just slide away. I can honestly recommend this primer so much. So worth it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna grab my newest favorite. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I heard about this from Zoella years ago. Now I got to try it this year and it's amazing. Hide those dark circles. A little bit here. For some reason I feel like here. And then on these few spots that I have. I was a good person yesterday and I washed three of my main makeup brushes. I'm gonna use my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend all of this concealer because this is not the look we're going for. When we're done with the concealer, I'm gonna grab my collection Naturally Matte Foundation. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but because I bought it, I'm still gonna give it a chance. So this is a very matte um, foundation in the shade 2 Ivory. I can hear all the beauty girls screaming because I'm spreading my foundation and concealer with my hand, but I feel like the last touch is just better if I do it with my hand. You can't really see that, but my hands are here like this, so I look like a little, little bunny or a dinosaur. <laughs> It's time for contour and I'm still still using the Viva La Diva powder contour palette from this wonderful palette I'm gonna choose the shade croissant which is in the middle and then I'm just gonna do my contour And then for my blush, I'm gonna mix the pink grape and Almond I think this is almond well the two pinkish colors I look like a little red riding hood, don't I? God, I went a bit overboard there, didn't I? But really, who cares? It's the time of apples and red, so why not go a bit overboard with the blush? <laughs> we are gonna do me eyebrows because I don't have any, can you see that? For my eyebrows, I'm still using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder Palette or Kit or whatever you want to call this in the shade to dark brown slash brown. By the way, all the brushes that I'm using in this video are by Eco Tools. I purchased one of their like brush kits and it came with like six brushes. So yeah, all of my brushes are by Eco Tools. Let's move on to the eyes. In June, I graduated from high school and I was very lucky to receive presents. A big group of my friends had gotten me the Naked 2 Makeup Eyeshadow Palette by Urban Decay. This is a very wonderful palette. I love it so much. I love all the shades in this palette. They are beautiful and they are perfect for this time of the year. I've been using a lot of this one, which is 
tees. Surprisingly, a lot of this one. So the second to last color, which is called Busted. I've been also wearing a lot of Half-Baked, which is a beautiful golden shade. And then, to your surprise, I have been wearing a lot of like liquid eyeliner, which is like my thing. But instead, I've been using the Blackout, the shade Blackout in this palette, to do my eyeshadow, I mean, my eyeliner. <laughs> it looks much softer to do it with, like, eyeshadow. It looks nice. I love the, I love the look. So today I'm gonna show you how I do that. First of all, I'm gonna take a little bit of, of the shade Half Baked. I'm gonna put it in here. I don't know what you call this, but the inner corner, maybe? I'm gonna do this to the other eye as well. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade Busted and I'm gonna put it in the crease here. And a bit of it under my eye right here. Looks scary, doesn't it? I'm gonna blend with my finger, as I always do. Then I'm gonna take my Eco Tools eyeliner brush and I'm gonna use the blackout, so the black shade or color, and I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And this is how the eyes look without mascara, of course, because I'm gonna apply that very, very soon. But I just wanted to show you how the eyes look with the um, eyeshadow eyeliner. I just really like how this looks. It looks softer and more natural than a liquid eyeliner. It's much easier to do. Oh my god, the amount of times I've failed with liquid eyeliner. It's always a struggle, but this, this is much more easier to do. In August, I was in Tubegon and we got goodie bags there. And in the goodie bags, there was this 100% vegan Lumine Nordic Girl Call Me Maybe eyeliner. I don't usually use this to do my eyeliner, but I use it to the inner corner of my upper lid, eyelid, so I do this. I think it makes the makeup look more put together. Lash line, like the line is much fuller and nicer. And now my mascara will look a lot nicer. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna apply some of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara because this is my favorite. During this time of the year, I usually go between reds, berry reds, and brown shades for the lips. I have this beautiful brown shade from NYX, a very buildable shade. If you apply a lot, it will look like this. Should I go for that or should I go for the NYX Snow White lipstick, which I've been wearing a lot and it's wonderful, it's so beautiful. Today I'm gonna go for the Snow White lipstick. I've noticed that glossy lipsticks don't stay as well as matte ones. I'm gonna add some of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade for, I think this is London? Yes, London. I'm gonna add the, the Snow White on top of this one because this is matte. It kind of dries this in place and this stays much better after that. I'll just get my glasses and I'll put them on and I can see you properly now and my makeup is done. I like my hair a bit messy during this time of the year for some reason. Well, I always do like my hair a bit messy. Braid a bit like bigger so it's not like super neat. Can you believe I was a ballet dancer or not? I wasn't I wasn't a ballet dancer, but I danced ballet and everything there is super neat. So that's kind of quite funny, I think. So this is how my current everyday makeup look looks. Of course, I sometimes change the lips. Sometimes I go for the lingerie one or a more nude one or a red one, but usually it looks something like this. Usually I actually wear my hair down, but recently I've been loving this hairstyle, so I think you're gonna see this a bit more on my channel, especially when I've curled my hair because, oh my god, these look so much nicer when my hair is curled and kind of like puffy and it's so nice. I mean, I think I got inspired by my eight-year-old um, au pair kid. I don't know, she's cool, so I thought I would maybe pull this out as well. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. You don't see 
makeup videos on my channel a lot. This is a bit different. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. And in the comments, you could tell me your favorite lipstick for this time of the year. Or if you don't wear a lipstick, your favorite fall accessory. Mine is probably a nice scarf. Ooh, a nice scarf with this hairstyle and makeup would look amazing. But yeah, I think that's everything for today. I love you guys very much and I think I'll see you on Sunday. So see you then. Bye.